YouTube is at it again. That is, today we check in with VTuber agency Niji Sanji, now bringing us this warning against imitating voices, saying sexually explicit content that is posted or sold in a manner that associates with Niji Sanji livers, such as imitating their voices, is extremely damaging to their reputation and image. We ask that you refrain from such activities. That's right, Niji Sanji asking, or more to the point, warning, not to imitate their talents with sexually explicit content recordings, especially those imitating their voices. And speaking of imitation, or actually more to the point, just sampling, a normal method for numerous song creations, this sample was found for Ethereus God Sees All original song. Let's take a listen. Again, this is a very normal practice, but fun for many to discover all the same. As of this past weekend, Niji Sanji English now has 32 talents, debuting their six-member wave, Exole, this past Friday. And unfortunately, YouTube has not been kind to them. As firstly, we check in with Ver Vermillion. Before debut, saying, I heard an evil witch cast a spell on Exole that made some of you unsubscribe from our YouTube channels. If you all could check and read subscribe that would be super cool that is now we also check back in with hex haywire of the brand new wave stating there are way more than 10 of you as he is seen here crossing the 100,000 subscriber mark and then just hours later having nearly 25,000 subscribers removed and while now three days later hex has once again crossed that milestone this has been a continual problem for this particular wave of niji sanji and also a very particular problem for agency VTubers debuting on the platform, dating back all the way to last year with Hollow Live English Gen 2's Hollow Council. This problem persisting all the way through the end of the year, and then seemingly mostly resolving itself upon the release of the Noctix Wave earlier in 2022. Unfortunately, now it looks like this problem on YouTube is back and hitting the talents time and time again. And speaking of Niji Sanji English, we now turn to Renzo potentially huffing the copium as he may be claiming he is still the tallest in Niji Sanji English here due to his horns and going to Twitter to say people who call me a normie are just forgetting that I've successfully blended into Earth's society and cultural standards flawlessly. That is also on Twitter we have this post effectively accusing Renzoto of art theft. Even going on to post a twit longer with the author saying I would encourage all other artists and community members to retweet quote retweet tweet, like, comment, and solidarity, and to boycott making any assets for Ren. Stating, even if he is a large streamer, it wouldn't be okay to gloss over this issue, and we would like to hold him accountable for his actions. As the document would go on to provide multiple instances when Ren used assets from an artist on Twitter, but with the document saying Ren has never properly credited that artist that have been used on stream. Saying, personally, we do not wish to label this as art theft, but it has come to that for this issue to be taken taken seriously. Ren himself would go on to reply, thank you for sharing. As far as I'm aware, I have thanked and credited all artists who have made me assets on stream. It's usually when I introduce the asset for the first time. Have I missed anyone? I apologize if so and appreciate people's patience with me. Please let me know. Then directly adding the artist saying, maybe I thanked you but forgot your username on stream or something. I can credit in a tweet now to rectify. I apologize and I want to let you know I appreciate the asset. That tweet then being made in full. Thanking the artist who made the statement background along with other assets. Ren saying to the artist, I apologize for the slip up and want to let you know I appreciate you just as much as every artist who creates incredible art in my tags. Thanks for letting me know so I could credit you properly. And we'd love to thank our chat and yes, our viewers for taking part in our Uwu Market merch drops, including our brand new monthly merch subscription box, which now includes a t-shirt, posters, keychain, a mouse pad, reversible mug, and more. Feel free to grab your box with the link below. Next with Niji Sanji English, we're checking in with Nina Kosaka, who during a 
gift wrapping stream walked away for a 30 minute nap, leaving a timer on screen and not returning until five hours had passed. That's right, 10 times the amount of planned time away. Nina would tweet out, I may or may not have taken a five hour nap on stream, but I am back, back to wrapping and going on to ask, who is Mellow? As yes, during the stream, the chat had created a cult of sorts for an individual called Mellow. Nina also sharing, what are your big tells when you are getting burnt out or sad? My big three are avoiding social media, not washing my hair and letting clothes pile up on my floor. It sounds silly, but catching myself do these things really helps me get out of my head and start changing things around. And one thing that may also help is Nina is out on vacation now, but already making plans for her return, including love the honey bunny, kiss the honey bunny. Further along with Niji EN, we have Millie Parfait, now known as Lemmy Parfait, and giving us a serious message in the form of a friendly reminder, saying you can have multiple Oshis, but don't mention them off topic during streams. Also, please be respectful and don't say things like goodbye, I'm changing Oshis in the livers chat because that's just disrespectful. You can say it on your own platform, but in a shared space where everyone is watching a stream, it's just plain rude, even if it's painted as a joke. As an avid Niji Sanji English enjoyer who casually lurks on streams, this has happened multiple times, and I will not stay silent anymore because it ruined the stream experience for me. Can you imagine what more if the liver felt if they see those kind of comments in their chat? This whole while, Millie has celebrated her birthday, complete with new merch, saying, I'm on sale now, please do not cringe on my voice packs, and for a time, changing her name to Haley Adams, that as music video producer Kana Uru would say happy birthday to my bro Haley Adams and providing a over one minute profane fully animated video. Etna Crimson with Niji Sanji would join the wishing someone in Niji Sanji a early happy birthday far far too soon club while others outside of Niji Sanji were also wishing her a happy birthday including Regis Altair from Tempest and joining Millie on stream was Hall Live Indonesia's Muna Hoshinova of all Arene and Irani EU15. That while we were treated to this brand new illustration provided by Millie's character illustrator. As Millie replied, Mama, I love you so much. I am blessed to be your child and your art always makes me happy. I feel loved by you. You will be my treasured mama in the whole world. But that's not the only art that she received, including this piece from Siska. More accurate representations here from Aya, along with Olira Pandora saying, I love you waifu, happy birthday. Rosamie Lovelock giving her a big love. Maria Marinette putting on the hat. And Pomo Rainpuff to hashtag MillieCake2022 offering up this animation and saying she's flying high. Happy birthday, Millie. That while Selene Tatsuki was focused on the important parts, all while also trying to convince Magni Desmond of Tempest to go bald with her. Later, Millie would say, I'm dead but full of love. Thank you guys for the fun stream. I love you all. I'm a pass out for real for real. I will thank you guys later. And in in addition, also, it's sweet that my co highs tried to raid me, but my dumbass for gore to add them on redirect. I love you, XLA. Sorry for having a dumb, dumb senpai. I take all the blame. I love you and wish you the best in the world. That's right. This past weekend, once again, we had a new Niji Sanji wave kicking off with Zion and receiving a lot of love from Mary, whose Meriwether Media Group teamed up with Niji Sanji for her lore video. As here, we have the reactions from the debut, including in a Alouette saying, oh my gosh, her voice is so cute. Shu Yumino recognizing her Japanese fluency. Tinana Ryagu stating, Zion, my queen. And VTuber Sayu giving a let's go. Having provided a voice for the lore video that Mary would later say, I wrote the lore video for Zion. Thanks for the opportunity. Art is by the artist of my series, Clinic of Horrors, Poco. Hope everyone enjoyed. With many reacting, thinking that the bar has been raised on Nijisanji lore, as this liver would also go on to share that her not safe for work tag is hashtag Zion top and her memes tag is hashtag Zion crack. And speaking of crack, uh, <coughs> excuse us, uh, speaking of um, uh, VTubers, right, we have Face Connects, Hook and Pippa tweeting out that night, oh wow, gee, you know, maybe I can't stream because I got to watch the new Niji debuts. Man, gee, that's a shame, but you know, as we have even more debuts, including Dopio Drop Scythe, who also had a lore video directed by Mary, the artist of that video Video being at who and others commenting on this Niji Sanji Liver's voice, including Alira Pandora saying Dupio could voice a Sonic.
iconic character and Vox Akama, referring back to the David Kuhn meme. Here now we also have self-evident feet enjoyer Mr. Rhea saying, Mother Effer says he has big feet, but doesn't take off those shoes and prove how big his toes are. Millie reacting, he's part cockroach. Did he just drop that nonchalantly and refuse to elaborate? That is Mary would go on to say, my favorite part was getting to write dialogue for all the members interacting. I've really fallen in love with all their characters. I can't wait to see them stream, and I hope I can write more stories in the future. Thanks for the opportunity. Then as we had our third debut for the evening, from Nichisaji English's Meliko Kiran, aka Inna's new mom, tweeting out, I love you, Mommy Meliko. Also calling out her model rigger, demanding an explanation how Booba can be bounded by a harness, but still jiggle. Meliko apparently being Vox's type, the demon from the past, simply tweeting out help, this Nijisanji English talent would go on to reveal that while she is not natively English speaking, she has been learning English for the past year, but it was her favorite anime choice there on the bottom left that got the most attention. Not only from Shu Yamino and Ike Eveland, but various TikTokers saying that this choice was problematic. Miliko would go on to enjoy her reception, saying that she was very worried that the audience would not like her accent or be able to understand her. Having now gone on to illustrate that she is cracked at the game getting over it. Clocking in an eight minute clear time, Pippa would react, Meliko Moe, charm point, cute. And next up was a highly anticipated debut, that being for Hex Haywire, the heart hacker, bringing us a deep, bassy, low register voice, with Maria Marinette saying, he's in my ears. Mary reacting, deep voice daddy man. And Inna asking, does he speak Chinese? As Hex's lore video was subtitled in Chinese. And of course, many thirsty and embarrassing tweets followed. Aya saying, my ears, did he just moan? While Inna would tweet out, touch me, I'm depressed, and I need you to know. Upon Hex simply tweeting out seven inches, we were then given this by Vox. That's right, the seven inch Hex, with Vox asking, could he fix me? And Nina once again having fun with her sleep schedule, saying, I put my alarm wrong, and now I must rush to watch Kohai's. What did I miss? Rosamie Lovelock would also challenge Hex, who had said that he was the second tallest Niji EN talent, with Rosamie proclaiming to be the tallest. Remo Endo trying to kill the audience, saying, take a shot every time he says baby. Renzoto wanting to hear his evil laugh and saying, maybe he can teach me. Then as we had the most true tweet of the evening, coming from Enna saying, Hex, the first step to fixing your mental health is to stop playing Minecraft. Leading Remo to respond, the second he got into Niji Sanji and he said he wanted to fix his mental health, I got worried. All right, and next we had the debut for Niji Sanji English's Hatoka Torahime, being favorably compared here to other video game characters from Vox, getting the attention from Mista due to her being a potential Gyaru, as Nina would say to Enna, don't look at Katoka, or more to the point, Kotoka's Katokas, leading Nina to tweet out, transform into Enna so she can have breasts. Enna tweeting, I want my booba to be glamored by Katoka, along with Millie saying, Katoka glamour me so I can have big boobs, please. Pippa would originally tweet out simply, sex, and then continue to simp all over the place, continually stating, cute, 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 cute girl, cute girl, cute girl, cute girl. That is, Katoka shared her very favorite food combinations, including pineapple on pizza, sugar on tomatoes, maple syrup on sausage, fries dipped in milkshake, peanut butter on pickles, mangoes with chili powder, and the best combo of all, cute girls. And to fully understand Katoka, let's see this particular tweet. Not gonna lie, I had a hamburger sitting in my room from like two days ago, and I took a bite of it, but it was actually really good. Nice and crispy, 100% recommend. Resident foodologist Mista would reply, hamburgers usually are bad on the fourth day from my experience. Chicken nuggets though, that last at least a week. And now let's take a look at the ending of her second stream for her debut 2.0. Bye bye.
<laughs> Katoka's logo was provided by Ori at Orihime, self-described as a Nijisanji simp who had gone on to make logos for all of the brand new XLA members, including the last member to debut, that being Ver Vermilion. Yes, that's right. Ver, as in very cool. Receiving the reaction from Vox, he was my Oni-chan Doki Doki Watashi Wa all along. As also here, we have the official mascot design for his brand new followers, the Villains. Nijisanji English's Petra Gurren replying, I will protect Villains with my life. They're so cute, but also accusing Ver of stealing from her. Saying to him, I charge a high fee for the hoodie. What are you giving me back in return? That is Petra received this artwork, that by way of Samaragi Tech, leading Petra to react, help, I just found out the artist of my favorite game ever drew fan art of me. That game being Busta Fellows, now available on Steam. Confirmed by Petra saying, yes, it is Busta Fellows. No, I am not okay. And back to Vare, who at the time of debut did not have a not safe for work tag, and it would tweet, my suggestion for your NSFW tag is Spermillion, saying also, you can tell everyone from XLA worked super duper hard on their lores. Make sure you're giving them your full support. And speaking of lore, we're back with Pomo Rainpuff saying lore videos now, but also me. Yes, we've certainly come quite a long way. As Mary himself would reply, yours was really nice as well. Lore doesn't have to be super serious. I think it should just reflect the feeling that the talent gives off. Let's all remember Shu Yamino's lore video as being one of the most hilarious highlights of Luxium's debut. And now with these new members, and it would share, I feel so old now. Along with Millie reacting, I love them, and providing these super high definition screenshots. Leading Inna to ask, why is Millie's screenshots so bad quality? We are literally using the same internet. After Scarla Yunaguni would also share that her internet died, providing this finished artwork for her Kohai Zion, confessing, no, I ain't not artist, but I tried my bestest. And speaking of the bestest, we now turn to our co-host Heidi for even more VTuber and agency VTuber news. Hi, hi everyone. Starting off, we check in with Niji Sanji EN with their recently debuted Wave XOLA as their first step voice and goods merchandise is now on sale with the voice content now including a bonus Japanese and Chinese translation PDF as well as digital smartphone wallpapers. The new Wave also gives us new interactions as Kyo Kaneko mentions how XOLA has a good sleep schedule. Surprising, I know. As the talent also asks to be fixed as well. However, Aya Amade clears up the confusion as she states that the new Wave sleep schedule are indeed also bad, but because Eluna's sleep schedules are so bad, everything else seems normal in comparison. And the confusion continues, as we have here XLA's Meliko Kyodan inquiring about what's a matter baby, with Luka Kaneshiro replying with the classic nothing much, just updog. Meliko falling for the trap, asking what is updog, as she's not familiar with the word, but does indeed love hot dogs. And Luka, again, responding with a nothing much, how about you, Melo? As he finally breaks Mello, who is now concerned with failing the semester. We also have Nichi Sanji Ian's unofficial number one mom, Nina Kosaka, who may not have the unofficial title anymore, as she says that she has lost what she held most precious to Alira Pandora of all people, replying to this art drawn by Kathy, depicting a certain solar sky dragon mom collecting her new son children. But speaking of loss, we check in with Anna Alouette, who reports Millie Parfait being locked in Twitter jail, asking, was it the voice tweet? The voice tweet in question not available, but was previously described here by Millie herself as Enna saying hold it down with a sexy voice. However, there's one talent who is seemingly immune to this disease, as Pomo Rainpuff posts the voice tweet as a video here. Hold it down! <laughs> Three, two, one, 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 one. We are present. But aside from this one anomaly, the cursed video takes its next victims, as Shu Yamino reports this series of unfortunate events. Thankfully, Rosamie Lovelock is back from Twitter jail, as well as the OG poster Millie, who gives us this voice to you in celebration. Good morning, baby girl. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I love you, as always. And as the cursed video still circulates, Kyo Kaneko stirs the pot, saying that someone should post the band Enna video just as audio and see if it locks their account. And I think we might have a feeling as to who will be jailed next. 
Next up, we check in with Face Connect, as Kanako Lumi brings to our attention this announcement, saying, Don't let Pippa streaming on Twitch distract you from the fact that she will release foot pics at 100k subs on YouTube, with Pippa then contacting Face Connect to report workplace harassment, and Lumi telling her to take it up with HR, loser. Pippa does, in fact, attempt to take it up with YouTube, saying she thinks someone botted her subscribers, asking to purge any potential bot accounts. And again, I would like to emphasize attempt, as she later tweets out, out. Can't believe I asked YouTube to purge my subscribers and they actually said no. Showing us the exchange here with YouTube confirming her subscriber count to be correct. We also have Wonders AI announcing a special collaboration with FaceConnect where a new adventure begins in the Wonderverse. Wonders AI also teases silhouettes of the talents, firstly showing off this fox-like silhouette, which surely couldn't be Tenma, who is totally not a fox and definitely did not quote retweet this announcement. Though we've seen Wonder AI with FaceConnect before, so we all do anticipate this project to come. Thank you very much, Heidi. And as an update, yes, Pipkin Peppa has achieved 100,000 YouTube subscribers. As fellow Face Connect member Fujikura Uraka would say, I'm so happy for you, but I'm kind of with you on this one. Please, I don't want feet. Then as tonight, we do have the faded stream at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific in a stream simply titled Feet. And very lastly, we turn to another co-host of ours, that being Cody, bringing us even more things VTubers say. ko hi yo Hello, fans. Try to contain your excitement, as today we talk about the best girl, Yago. CoverCorp tweeted this photo, saying, December the 10th is the birthday of our CEO, and we prepared a surprise cake for him at our head office. The Hololife Production English account captured another angle of Yago with two more cakes for Cover's best girl. Many of the talent, including Tsunomaki Watame, who is now celebrating 1 million followers on Twitter, sent some well wishes to Yago, with you Kikukoma replying with a photo of Yago eating Yago, saying, I'm confused. But just as expected, the fans delivered art, including a piece by Holostar's uproar member, Hizaki Gama, based on Yago's recently debuted 3D model. And user Babinch depicted our best girl as a cake. Meanwhile, fans went on to create a Twitter space to celebrate his birthday, where they changed all of their profile photos to different variations of Yago's face. Later, Shirakami Fubuki held a drawing challenge with the theme being Yago, where fans gave the best idol outfit for the best girl. Yago will also be playing in a Mahjong tournament in collaboration with Sega. He will be joining alongside other idols with Maki Asami of the Professional Mahjong Association and Marie Aikawa, both on commentary. In other news, we visit Hollow Alternative and Hollow Earth, where staff member Nadoka hosted her first ever live stream without A-chan. During the stream, we got to see six members of Hollow Live play through the alpha version of Hollow Earth, where they tackled a time trial to defeat a boss monster. We saw a look at some of the weapons available in the game, as well as the various monsters, and we also got to see Polka run into trouble. Aki Rose, Noel, and Azki were the second trio to have a go at the challenge, where Aki Rose had found a rocket launcher, but was also the first person to die. At the end of the segment, we finally got a closer look at the mystery person, shown sitting on top of the earth, which was revealed to be designed by famous FGO artist Taiki-san. A mini live was also announced, taking place within Hollow Earth on December the 26th, with Azki as the headline act and another performer announced at a later date. In other Hollow Alt news, a second manga was announced starring the one and only Tokoyami Toa and a Blu-ray edition of Hollow Live Alternative Storytime will be released at the end of the month. That's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you very much, Cody. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you soon.